Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Power Up 365. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing on this great, great morning? Isn't it great to be alive? Wow. Excellent. Just great. So, um, yesterday a good friend of mine, we were busy sitting down and we were speaking about uh, life and um, kids and and expenses. And... Um, we were like calculating how much, and we were asking the question, was a few of us around, you know, how much is the expenses of a family these days compared to how much it was? And we were speaking about our fathers and what they went through and all that. And um, and we were astonished on the, on the numbers. And the numbers was different for everyone. And obviously, based on the standard of living and where everyone is in their life and how many kids they have and the medical aids they have and um, but if you really look at the the accommodation the rent you look at your school fees you look at your medical aid you look at your secu your security um, some 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 expenses before you even look at the 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 food you eat you know um, uh, those numbers are, are are sometimes quite scary but What's important to me, you know, last night when I came back, I was thinking, and this morning I was thinking about that. And that, you can't, you know, there's a saying, you don't wake up each morning, focus on your limitations. You don't focus on what you don't have. You focus on what you're going for. You focus on what you do have. And what you do have is oh, to to overcome all those expenses. And this is this is the challenge. You see, You've got to know your reality. That's number one, okay? You've got to know your reality. You've got to know the expenses. You've got to know, hey, listen, my medical is that. My school fees are so much in that. But you can't make it a focus point. You can't make that the focus point. Because that means what you focus on, what you focus on expands. I remember the story, I think I've said it to you, I've told you guys quite a few times, um, where Tony Robbins is busy walking and um, some poor guy um, comes to him and says, Sir, sir, can you spare a dollar? Can you spare a dollar? And um, he takes out his wallet and he he makes sure that the guy can see that he had other, I think he had a hundred or fifty or whatever, he had other notes there. But he got, then he went and he got to the dollar. And he gives the guy the dollar and he tells him, be careful what you ask for in life. Because what you ask for, that's what you're going to get. And that made such a big impact on me because um, if you... If you focus on your expenses, if you focus on what you, if you don't have big dreams, if you don't think bigger than your expenses. So, so that statement made a big impact on me and all my life, I have been focusing on big things. That's why I wake up each morning and say, I am a billionaire. I wake up saying one day I'm going to have my private plane. Um, one day I'm going to have houses all over the world. And I keep going and pushing for big dreams. Because if I get if I get those big dreams, if I'm pushing for those big companies, if I'm pushing for the big, I'm focusing on income. Right? I'm focusing on income. I know my expenses. But every single morning I focus on income. I focus on playing a bigger game, a bigger life. And so many people look at the expenses and that becomes their focus point. And what happens is when that becomes your focus point, be careful what you wish for. Then you'll, you'll get the expenses. Eventually, I mean, people will pay the expenses. But you see, there's a cap on your income. There's a, there's a, there's a psychological, there's a mental cap on your income. Because it's, you, you focused on your expenses. So your income... You'll only get the income to pay your expenses because you're not thinking bigger than your expenses. You're thinking on your limitations. So um, it's a very, uh, it was a very great discussion we had yesterday, but um, it's so important. You can't change your reality unless you know your reality. Focus on your, ex uh, sorry, know your expenses, but don't focus on them. Don't focus on them. Focus on things bigger than your expenses. Let me tell you this, you can only cut your expenses up until a point, but income is indefinite. Income 
is abundance. Income is growth. So that is why you wake up each morning and you focus on big things, a big life, a great life. You focus how big your business is going to get. You focus on what's your next step. You always focus on becoming bigger than your current circumstances. And you focus on living a great life. And the truth is this. You know, those expenses are running. Those expenses are running. If you're not thinking bigger than your expenses, they're going to catch up to you. You can't afford. The truth is, the expenses, life is becoming so expensive, you can't afford to think small. If you think small, you're going to live a small life because your expenses are going to catch up to you. That's why people say that I don't want to take risks. I don't want to think big. I just want to be comfortable. But just because you're comfortable today, those expenses are rising. Expenses aren't getting cheaper. They're rising. They're going up all the time. They're going up. So be careful on what you are focusing on. Are you focusing and playing a bigger game in your life? Are you focusing on income? Are you focusing on your resources to become more resourceful? What are you focusing on? Or do you write down those expenses? You know your school fees, you know your electricity, you know that and that, and you write them down so you know your expenses and you focus on your expenses. Therefore, you have one goal, you have programmed your mind for one goal. All what I need to do this month is make my expenses. And one day, that's just not going to be good enough. Because turbulence comes, bad things comes, takes you, your car breaks, someone gets sick. There's, I mean, yesterday my dog got sick. I needed to get money to go to, that wasn't planned. That wasn't part of the expense list. So things happen, and when those things happen, they kick you out the game. Because all what you've been focused on is your expenses. You can't focus on your expenses. You've got to focus on on abundance. You've got to focus on income. You've got to focus on sales. You've got to focus on a big life, a great life. You've got to, you've got to focus on everlasting income. That's what you've got to focus on. Play a bigger game and therefore the expenses become insignificant. If you are playing a big game, if your expenses a month is 20,000 Rand and you focusing on 200,000 Rand income, if you focus on how do I make 200,000 Rand income, if you, we call that zero up. If you have a 20,000, you zero up. You take your expenses, you zero it up, and you focus that on income. Make that your first step. So you write down your expenses. I know my expenses, but I zero up, and I focus on that number as that is must be my income. Then if you focus like that, that means you making your expenses are only 10% of your income that you are going for. And if you keep focusing on the 200,000, the 200,000, the 200,000, your mind, your environment, things will come your way and you will achieve that. But if you focus on your limitations and limitation is when you focus on your expenses. Thank you very much, guys. This is Johnny Liardis, your ultimate success strategist. Go out there, have an amazing, amazing day, and I will see you at the top. Cheers, bye.